Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to work with number bonds and number lines to help model equivalent fractions. So our learning goal for today says I can identify different whole number equivalent fractions and represent them on a number line or in a number bond. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are just your dry erase board. All right, so we're going to start with our application problem. It says Antonio worked on his project for four-thirds hours. His mom tells him that he must spend another two-thirds of an hour on it. Draw a number bond and number line with copies of thirds to show how long Antonio needs to work all together. Write the amount of time Antonio needs to work all together as a whole number. So pause the video. Draw a number line and a number bond to model how long Antonio needs to work all together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here I'm going to start with my number line because we've been working with number lines so much. So we're going to label our endpoints of 0 and 2. I know that I have to go past two friends or past one on my number line because I know that four thirds is greater than one. Okay, because I know that one is three thirds. Well, four thirds is more. So that's how I know I'm going up to two. I also need to label my missing whole number on my number line, which is one. Then I can split my number line into thirds from zero to one, and then from one to two, also in thirds. Label your number line underneath. Okay, so we have all of our fractions. Antonio works for his, on his project for four thirds hours. So I need to find four thirds on the number line, and I'm gonna put a dot. Oh, so there we go. I'm just gonna make a note that says this is what he already worked. Now it says that his mom says he must spend another two-thirds of an hour on it. So that just means that I'm going to start here and I'm going to count one-third, two-thirds. So let's draw a number bond to match that. So we went to four-thirds. We need two-thirds more to get to um, for our other part. And then the whole, friends, where did we end up on our number line? When we started at four-thirds and went two more thirds of an hour. Yeah, six thirds, right? Or two, right? So we know that Antonio has to work two hours all together. All right, good job with that one, friends. It can be a little tricky, so if you need to rewind and kind of move back in the video to watch my explanation again, go ahead and do that. That's absolutely okay to rewatch part of, this, of the video. All right, so let's look at the number bond below. Why is the number bond true? So let's see what we have in our whole. We have one half and one half, and then we have four unit fractions of one fourth. So if I look here, how many halves do I have, friends? Two halves, right? So we can label that that way. We know that two halves is one, right? Two halves make a whole. Then I'm gonna look at my parts that I have of my number bond. Well, they're all unit fractions. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Well, I know that four fourths equals one. So if one equals one, then two halves equals four fourths because they're both labeling one whole. All right, so how do the parts change if we change what the whole looks like? or if we change the whole to look like this. So now I still have my parts of one fourth, but now I have all of these halves. Well, we know that we don't have enough parts anymore, right? If we increased our whole, then we don't have enough parts anymore. So we can draw the new model and change the parts so that the number bond is true. You're gonna pause the video and you want to have parts that equal the total, which how many halves do I have, friends? Yeah, four halves. So we need our parts to equal four halves. So pause the video, draw your drawing to make your number bond have the same, the correct number of parts to match your whole. 
All right, so pause if you need more time. Remember again, we have four halves, so we need to make our number bond match that. Here's some of the things um, that I saw. But first, remember, four halves equals two. Okay, so these are some of the models that I saw some students draw. This is model one, where if we look closely, we have four halves as my whole, and I have eight one-fourths. Then model two that I saw some friends draw was still the whole is the same of four halves, but then this time I saw two four-fourths. Hmm, let's talk about this. All right, so are these models equivalent? Hmm. Remember, we're looking for that four halves equals two. So do our parts on both of them equal two is what we're trying to figure out. So if we look here, this model has too many parts, right? If there's only, well, there's only four parts in my whole, how do I have eight? Oh, wait, hang on, wait a minute. Let's take a closer look at the parts. So here I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, right? But Oh, look, that's the same as over here, four-fourths. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to go in green so we can see the difference. So one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. Oh, check that out over here. <gasps> look at that, friends. Hmm. All right, friends, do we notice something that's similar about these? All right, well, let's keep going. Let's check it out. So we have that this is 8 fourths. And this over here, this model, is also showing 8 fourths. Hmm. All right, so let's see if we can show equivalence of the number bonds on the number line. So we're going to draw the number line with the endpoints of 0 and 2 because my hole is 2. So that's why we're going all the way up to 2. You're going to label the holes on top of the number line and partition the number line into fourths and label the fractions on the bottom. Okay, so pause the video. Label from 0 to 2 for your endpoints. Partition with fourths. Don't forget to label that whole number that we're missing. And then label your fractions and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So here's my two models. Remember, we're going from zero to two for our endpoints. We're missing a whole number in the middle, so it's important that you always add that in first. So from zero to two, I'm missing one in the middle because our number line would go zero, one, two. Now I can split from zero to one into fourths, and then from one to two needs to be in fourths as well. So label my fractions. Again, stop at your whole number to make sure. Is 4 divided by 4, does that equal 1 of my whole number? Yeah, it sure does, so I can keep going. And then I would stop at my next whole, which is 8 divided by 4, does that equal 2? Yeah, it sure does. All right, so how many fourths in 0? 0 fourths. How many fourths in 1? Four fourths. How many fourths in two? Eight fourths. All right, so draw a number bond to model one whole. So what would one whole look like with a number bond? Pause the video. Just draw a quick sketch of a number bond for just one whole. Remember, we already have that label on our fraction. So pause, draw that number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, we're going straight up back to our unit fractions, right? So we have one whole equals four fourths. So draw a number bond to model two wholes. And this time, we're going to show copies of one whole instead of unit fractions. So I don't want to see on anybody's number bond one fourth anywhere because that's not representing one whole. What would one whole, what's the fraction for one whole? It's right there in one of the blue rectangles. You need to show a copy of that 
to show two holes. So pause the video, you do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here is my number bond for two holes. We know that four fourths is one hole, so I make a copy of that and have another four fourths, and that gives me two holes. All right, so what's the relationship between models one and two, as well as the number line and number bonds we just drew? We'll notice if we have two, our number bond for two holes looks just like our model two, right? Except for this one's in halves on the top, our model is in halves, but the bottom one is in holes, but four halves is two. So essentially this one is modeling the same. Okay, so four halves equals two. All right, and then we notice about our first model here, right? That matches our number line, right? We have eight fourths from zero to two in our number line, and we also have eight fourths in our number bond. All right, friends, so, sorry, I jumped ahead a little bit here. We're gonna do another word problem, but we're gonna do this one together, okay? So this one says, Amanda scoops one fourth pound of an ice of ice cream each hour at the ice cream shop. Whew, that's a lot of ice cream. I bet she's tired. So for the first part, for part A, we're gonna draw a number line to represent one pound of ice cream. Partition the number line to represent how much ice cream she scoops in each hour. Okay, so pause the video. Draw your number line that represents one pound of ice cream. All right, friends, so here we have my number line from zero to one for one, um, for one hour, but then we're actually looking at pounds for this one. So it tells us one quarter pound, so that's telling us fourths for our fractional unit. Label our parts. Then we're gonna go into B. It says draw another number line to represent three pounds of ice cream. After four hours, how many pounds of ice cream does she scoop? So you're gonna pause the video. You're drawing your number line now from zero to three. This number line, first one that we did was from zero to one pound. Now we're drawing from zero pounds to three pounds. Don't forget to label your missing whole numbers, then partition and label the fractions. Okay, and see how much ice cream she scoops for three pounds. All right, so pause the video, draw your number line, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here's my number line from zero to three. Okay, put in your missing whole numbers. Here's one pound and two pounds. And then I'm gonna split the zero to one pound into fourths, from one pound to two pounds into fourths, and from two pounds to three pounds into fourths. Label your fractions on your number line. Then it says she scoops one pound of ice cream each, or I'm sorry, one quarter pound or one fourth pound of ice cream each hour. After four hours, how many pounds of ice cream does she scoop? So we're gonna start here. This is one fourth. This is one hour, right? This is two hours, three hours, four hours. So she scoops one pound of ice cream after four hours. Okay. Let's go to our next part. After eight hours, how many pounds of ice cream does she scoop? So we already know that four fourths is one hour. I'm sorry, it's four hours. So let's keep going from there. So we're at four hours. Sorry friends, I got ahead of myself. You guys have to solve this part of the problem and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Use that number line though that we already have. You don't have to draw a new one. All right friends, so here we go. So we know that four fourths is one pound, but that's four hours she spent. 
So now we're just going to add on to that until we get to eight. So we're at four, five, six, seven, eight hours. So after eight hours, she scoops two pounds of ice cream. All right, well done with that one, friends. That was a tricky one, but just break it apart and take one part of the word problem at a time and solve. All right, so boom, you guys did a great job identifying different whole number equivalent fractions and representing them on a number line or in a number bond. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends! Bye.